Presented by California Pizza Kitchen. Visit them today at the Holiday Resort Hotel. Welcome back to In the Mix. Here's Chris Barnett with another tulip recipe. My name is Zach Lewison from the Ducatani. This is our dish. This is the tulip tartare. Uh, we just took the tulip meat. We uh, mixed it up with uh, some capers, some lemon juice, and some uh, herbs. Uh, put it on top of a fresh lavish cook, uh, biscuit and uh, just garnished it. Um, really nice working with it. Uh, it is very interesting. I've never worked with this product before. Uh, so it was fun to take something like uh, lunch meat and turn it into something five star, like we do at the Deuce It. I'm an instructor from GCC, representing the Guam County College. Because I, I'm teaching pastry and bread, so I, I uh, adapted the chili product with a bread. I make a bread uh, flavor with apricot and mint and uh, uh, Moroccan uh, spice like cumin and things like this. It's a different way to see things, but I think maybe might be interesting for people to see a little bit different. What was it like working with a tulip? Oh, it was fine, easy to open. <laughs> but uh, no, it was. Uh, I, 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 I used that before. Been on Guam for 27 years. You have to end up to do like the local, you know. <laughs> so no, it was uh, pretty interesting. You know, usually where I'm from, we hope maybe we'd put some sausage or ham instead. So it was kind of easy thing to to do. Hi, my name is uh, Mark Robinson, and what I prepared today was uh, tulip Wellington. And uh, we prepared it this morning. What we did was uh, we seared the tulip, and then um, we put uh, some mushroom in it, and then. Uh, crusted it with a uh, puff pastry and then put an egg wash and baked it off and then what we have on the bottom is uh, espanol sauce and demi glaze on top. It's pretty easy, you know, eat it uh, at home, so pretty good. It's like, kind of like a versatile uh, meat, so it's, we can do it with anything. So I was inspired by the Wellington and then I used it instead of beef tenderloin. Half a day, my name is Philip from the Hyatt Regency Guam and what I used for the tulip was I made a uh, tulip arancini. Uh, arancini is a dish that's made from, originated from uh, Italy and what they do for the risotto is it's just like uh, chamorros how they do the fried rice, how like leftover rice becomes fried rice. Arancini was leftover risotto turned into uh, deep fried balls filled with cheese. Balls! Balls! <laughs> Alright, but in this case, I used the, I did a fusion of it, and I did the Chamorro side and Italian side, and I mashed them together and made a tulip arancini. And like, I came up with the recipe when I used to be an intern at Al Dente, and when I was there at Al Dente, uh, Chef Cristiano, way back then, uh, he, late nights, we used to make and roll the arancini, and that's how it was. What was it like working with Tulip? Uh, tulip was actually very easy. Coming from Guam, like you, it's always in your cabinet. You see it every day. And it was just a very simple thing for me to do. All right, so we're presenting uh, TGI Fridays. And our dish for today is the crusted tulip balls. And um, balls. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, preparation is pretty simple for this dish. Uh, it was really fun. And with tulip, it's you can work with it many ways, and this was pretty new, so it was fun to work with this with the boys. And uh, you guys kind of went for something uh, real accessible. Uh, you know, everybody loves uh, things that are fried, and to have it in a in a ball form and uh, incorporate so many different ingredients. And uh, you know, when I bit into it, it's very creamy. Uh, what was the idea behind that, and how did you guys come up with this uh, recipe? Uh, well, honestly, like I said, back to the simplicity, you know, it's kind of like trying like simple stuff at home, like fiesta parties, so we kind of like want to incorporate like the local kind of vibe, so I guess that's where the main point would be. Keep it here, you don't want to miss it, Baba B on Live Local Fridays.
Your community calendar is brought to you by Taco Bell. Whether it's your first meal or your fourth meal, we've got you covered. Taco Bell, live moss.